Today I'm with the 143rd Airlift Wing Airlift Maintenance Squadron and we are cleaning a C-130J Super Hercules. Today I have with me Tech Sergeant Stefan Zatina. We call ourselves crew chiefs. We maintain the entire aircraft, the forms, and then we're also the managers of like whatever specialist needs to go on to the aircraft to do whatever jobs. Right now what we're about to do is an aircraft wash. It's scheduled every 60 days for us to do this. Um, it's one of our dirtiest jobs, to be honest. I don't really like doing it, but hey, it's got to be done. It's crucial. Why is it so crucial that we need to clean the aircraft? Um, because over time, um, the aircraft tends to build a lot of corrosion um, due to just regular flying. It's just metal and just like your car, whenever any salt, water, even uh, the elements outside, it just builds on its own. Um, and what we just do is just clean all that off so that it's ready for any flight. All right, so do you want to get into it right now? Yeah, we can get started. All right, let's go. So where are we starting right now on the airplane? Okay, so what we have set up is the main gear. What we're gonna do is take a look inside. Our main components that we're gonna mainly look for is all the joint areas that are involving wherever we do lubrication. So, for instance, right here is one of our joints where we tend to uh, wash more thoroughly because we want to get all that old grease out that tends to hold all that dirt and grit and push it all out so that when we re-lubricate it, um, the new grease goes in nice and smooth. Um, in the back side, we want to also get um, the struts um, cleaned and if you can look way up in there, um, we have our ball screw assembly. Um, in the back end, um, we tend to clean the tracks, um, the shoes, and also on the bottom end, which is like another uh, grease fitting point that we get involved into. All right, so where do we start? Where do we start um, with? So what I tend to start with is what we have is the pressure washer here. Um, we have hot water, so it helps out a lot with taking all that grease off. So what I'll do is I'll tend to spray it, get it wet, let it sit for a little bit, and then that's when we would use our alkaline soap. Once we finished putting on our PPE to protect us against the water and soap, it was time to start washing. What type of person would want to do this job? I would say anybody that wants to be able to be mechanically inclined themselves or get hands-on, there's not a dull day or a dull moment whenever you're trying to learn about specifics on here. Because whether you go to an avionics shop, whether you go to an engine shop, whether you go to um, uh, R and R shop or E L E N. Yeah, so there's not just the crew chief. There's many other maintenance aspects that go into keeping the. Correct. Plane we all work as one, and yeah. um, luckily for my sake, I can kind of learn all those components and not be a specific specialist. They kind of call us like the jack of all trades when it comes to this aircraft, which is kind of cool. Did you always know you wanted to do this kind of stuff? Um, when I first came out and the recruiter showed me that what, what goes on around here, yeah. I was like in awe because I'm a hands-on type of individual, so um, I learn a lot that way. Mm -hmm. And I've always been like um, mechanically inclined per se. So, As Technical Sergeant Zatina mentioned, a crew chief is considered a jack of all trades, so don't think you're just going to be washing planes all day. You're going to get your name on the aircraft, and it's your responsibility to make sure it's mission ready. So we just completed a small part of cleaning the C-130, and I want to thank you so much for being an awesome SME and letting me do just a little bit with you and just teaching me how to do it. Um, if you guys are interested in being a part of maintenance or being a crew chief, reach out to the 143rd Recruiting, and they will give you as much information as you need. Going into this job, I knew of crew chiefs, but I wasn't sure what they did. Each job I've been on has opened my eyes to the hard work each soldier and airman do. The crew chief is no different. They're dedicated to their job, making sure the aircraft is airworthy and that the crew members are safe. Maintenance is a large career field with many AFSCs, and the crew chief is just one job in that field. So if you're someone who likes to get hands-on and never stop learning, then a job in this career field is for you.